Hey guys, before we get started with the video, I just wanted to do a huge shout out on behalf of the Torque Masters Car Club for our clubhouse sponsors. Um, Canadian Tire North Saanich uh, came through huge for us with uh, all the stuff we needed to outfit the clubhouse and uh, Garage Kings did some awesome floor work for us. So uh, if you're ever looking for a garage floor, give Garage Kings a call. Um, the next thing is this project would have never got off the ground without the doors that we've used to uh, to paint the logos on and those came from uh, the guys at Lost Car Rescue. If you haven't watched that show, it's really cool. A bunch of guys going out into the bush and getting old cars and rescuing old junk. So um, check them out. Uh, they should have season two coming out on History Channel soon. I think you can see season one uh, on YouTube or on History Channel Online, uh, also on Prime Video. Um, so check those guys out and um, all the painting was done by Crystal Bell at Dobell Sign Company. If you're ever looking for cool signs or anything for your shop uh, or for your business, um, give uh, Crystal Bell uh, Dobell Signs a call and uh, he can hook you up with some cool stuff. So uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Backfires and Burnouts. Uh, last time you saw these doors, I was struggling with them to get all the innards out and make them a little lighter. They weighed a ton. So uh, since that video, I got them all cleaned up, got them lightened up, um, took them down to uh, Crystal Bell at Dobell Signs, and he was uh, gracious enough to uh, get these uh, sponsor signs on the doors for us. Um, and now I've got to get them hung on the wall, so we're going to hang one on each side of the uh, Ray Bestis sign here. So, uh, uh, but one of the things we want to work on here is that uh, these doors are rusty, they've been sitting out for years, and uh, it's kind of like a dry, dusty rust, and it, it sort of sucks the logos into the, into the rust. And so what we want to do is actually uh, bring those logos out, make these doors look a little shiny. So what we're gonna do is an old hot rodders trick and we're gonna run some linseed oil on these. So what I'll do is I'm gonna uh, head over to Canadian Tire, which is just around the corner, and get us some linseed oil and we will then uh, show you how to apply that to your rusty hot rod to, uh, to keep your patina looking just perfect and make, make uh, logos and some of the paint color pop. Anyway, I will, uh, I will show you that. Yeah, so I get you off the tripod here and you can see um, that this is sort of a, a, a dry, very dry rust. And, um, you know, we, and like, so this here, there's a little bit of uh, paint that was on here from before. And so we just want this to pop a little bit. Here's, here's again some, uh, some cool old black paint. And we just want this uh, logo to really pop. And, um, we want that shine. There's a couple ways to go about it. One, you can do like a clear coat. Some people do like a clear coat on these, but um, we thought that since these are gonna be inside, we could do the linseed oil. A lot of guys linseed oil their, uh, their old, uh, old hot rods and rigs, and um, they do it usually probably twice a year or something, depending on how much you're using it and how much it's out in the sun. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go get some of that, and we will get on this project. Man, is it ever have, nice having a Canadian tire right around the corner from the workshop. I don't know how many times they have saved my bacon and saved me a long trip into Victoria. It's like five minutes, well, it's three minutes from the, uh, from the workshop. Okay, so we picked up some boiled linseed oil and a uh, pack of terry cloths. And I've got the door set up over here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little test patch in a place where we won't see it, just to make sure that everything's honky-dory. And if it all works out, we will do the whole door and hopefully it gives us the look we're going for. So let me get you on the tripod here and we'll set it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just get a little linseed oil on the towel. Put that down. We're just gonna just gonna rub it on there like that. Look at that, see? Sort of make, gives it that wet look. And this will protect the, the metal. I mean, it's, it's indoors. It's not like it's going to be, uh, you know, uh, outside or anything. So um, shouldn't be a problem. And probably 
just do it the once and probably won't really have to do it again. But anyways, now uh, we'll just sort of watch this, see what it does a little bit, and then uh, we'll try a little more. So what we're gonna do is, gonna wet our rag with the linseed oil, and then we will apply. And what you can see is it'll start to bring up the colors and it won't look so fady. Gives it that sort of wet look. Bring a little bit of shine to the door. And then you just apply it on there. And if you need more, I'll add more. But it kind of goes a long way. Um, just a little bit on the rag. But you can always supply more as, as needed. Look back at it and This was uh, 24 bucks for the jug. And it'll more than do these doors and then we'll have extra so that oh, in the future, if we need to do them again, we can. Yeah, so it just kind of gives it that wet look. And then it'll, it'll just make those colors pop on the door. Any of that uh, original paint that's still there. And uh, yeah, it's a good old hot powder's trick to uh, keep your patina from uh, turning into a problem. <laughs> so you can see the difference. Um, you know, you've kind of got that shine and then that's the old dull part. Um, again, it just makes the logos pop, makes any paint um, that you have left. So here's some uh, black paint in here, and it just it just brings that that color out and makes it pop. So again, there's a, a section that hasn't been done and the section that's been done, and uh, yeah, it's great stuff. So there you go. If you got an old rusty truck or car in the yard, and you want to maintain and kind of give it a bit of shine that's the way to do it uh, i guess rust is the new high-end paint now it seems like it's all the rage so there you have it so there you have them all oiled up and um you can see it just sort of gives uh it, it makes the the logos and the colors pop a little more and uh you, you can see that black paint the original black paint on there pops a little bit more and um, they're protected from, from further rusting. Um, so there you go, linseed oil, boiled linseed oil on the, uh, on the old door. So that's, uh, that's good. And now uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get these put up on the walls and uh, the clubhouse will be one step further along. Anyway guys, thanks for uh, coming out. We'll see you on the next one.